The news keeps coming, everybody. Some transfer news, some contract extension news to bring you today here on NFTV. Hi everyone, how are you doing? You all right? We'll hear from Carl in just a second. He's going to bring up the topics of Hayden and Darlow signing long-term contracts. So fantastic news, especially the Isaac Hayden one, because obviously he was running down his contract and his first team member as well. But more on that shortly. But uh, Florian Lejeune has departed the club on a temporary basis. He's headed off to La Liga side Alaves, who have that goal scorer legend Hoslu. Amongst their ranks, not be fair to Hoslo, he actually done very well uh, last season in La Liga. Typical in it when we get rid of him. But yeah, he's joined, and I know Sam and Adam uh, from the channel are massive fans of Flo and Lejeune. Me personally, not so much. I'm not going to sit here and start slating him because his first year was absolutely sensational. He's He reminded me of the nearest thing to probably a Colicini when Colicini was, had his good day. Ping a long ball. Comfortable on the ball. Not the quickest in the world, but he looks so good, especially his partnership with Flacelles. And the last two years, his form's dropped massively. His injuries have been hit. Of course, he had the high. It's uh, when we're on Merseyside at front row. Uh, there were scenes when we're getting beat 2 0 in the 92nd minute, and Lejeune just pops up and scores two. So, and the scenes were mad at Goodison Park. That's obviously his highlight. Of course, it is the uh, last season, but. In terms of his form, he was overplayed. He was overplayed over Christmas. Bruce it should have really went to a back four, but he kept playing the back three centre-backs. And that Leicester game stands out straight away for me. He was dreadful. He was awful. One of the worst defensive displays I've seen in quite a while from an individual at St. James's Park. But, yeah, he cost for two goals that game. But Lejeune can't get back on that side. There's four or five lads ahead of him. Even Paul Dummett, he was a centre-back. Fabian Shea was currently injured at the moment. Well, I say he's injured. He's back in training now, but he won't play for a couple of weeks. And then you've got Fernandez, looks like his first choice. Lascelles, the captain, Kevin Clark, and now that Florian Lejeune is headed out, he's realised I'm not going to get game time here. Bit surprised that it's alone because he's in his late twenties. I wonder what the club's thinking is behind that. Is it because look, there is talent there. Let's get him out low. Let's get him first team football. Bring him back. See what he's like. Or can we not find a buyer? Is that the flip side of it? Is, does he not have much transfer value because of the constant injuries? Probably a factor on both, to be honest. Be good to get him back fit, playing regular football, come back at the end of the season, see if he can challenge. But for me, his form has dropped massively and I'm not actually surprised he's left the club. For me, right this moment, out of our five, six centre-backs, he's the worst currently for me. I hate saying that because I don't want to criticise him because he had a great first year. But tell it like it is. That's my opinion. But Lejeune will head out. But that also means that potentially Rob Holden may, may come in. But instead of Rob Holden's going to come in, someone's going to leave. And now we've seen that one's gone. Flom Lejeune has left. Maybe even two if Rob Holden comes in. But if Holden does come in, it's all down to David Luiz's injury because Arteta has not allowed him to go out the club yet until he has cover. And he's got cover in Holden. Until David Luiz comes back, then he may allow him to go out and loan. It's a sensible option, really. Lejeune's not going to play much if Holden's happy to try and fight for his place. Is he happy with that? I would expect Holden will probably think that he'll start more games, but it's going to be difficult to get rid of the captain and Fernandez, who was the best defender at the club last season. But Carl is going to take over the video and he's going to talk about Isaac Hayden and Carl Dolo signing those contract extensions. What about you, mate? Thank you very much, Lee. More positive news from the club. Isaac Hayden agrees a new deal. Carl Darlow agrees a new deal. Carl Darlow signs for five years. Isaac Hayden signs for six. Carl Darlow, who was signed from Nottingham Forest back in 2014, probably hasn't had the run of games that he's wanted um, over the last few years with the, the excellence of Martin Dubravka. However, it's great to get him tied over the line as a backup goalkeeper for the foreseeable. Isaac Hayden, who's been nothing but excellent after signing from Arsenal back in 2016, pens a six-year deal. Isaac had this to say, I'm delighted. It shows a lot of loyalty and commitment from both sides. It's great to have agreed this before the start of the season and we can focus on getting the football right and getting as high up the Premier League as possible. Cole Darlow, who made his Premier League debut away at uh, West Bromwich Albion back in 2015, had this to say, 
I'm really happy to have extended my stay. I've had a very good five years here and things are very, very positive, especially with the new players coming in. There's a buzz around the place and that's great going into the new season. I'm happy to get sorted and give myself something to really get my teeth into. Obviously, uh, another man who's really, very, very happy about these two uh, extending their contracts is obviously Steve Bruce, who was finally able to get Matty Longstaff over the line as well. He had this to say, I've been impressed with Carl. He hasn't played a lot because of the performances of Martin Dubravka, but he's always been a very, very good goalkeeper and I'm delighted to tie him up. I'm delighted with Isaac too. He's a 25-year-old midfielder with his best years ahead of him. I know it's been a little bit on and off in terms of his future, so I'm very pleased that he's committed himself to the club. We've had a very, very good week and a very good window so far with the players we have brought in, but the business we have done in terms of keeping players here has been very important too. Reiterating that Matt Longstaff um, contract extension and now getting these two over the line is very positive for the club after the signings that we've brought in. Nothing but positivity. Hopefully, we can kick on, keep the squad as it is with the new addition and, and with the new additions, kick on and, and have a real stab at breaking into that top 10. Thanks very much. Back over to you, Lee. Right. Thanks, Carp. Cheers, mate. Right. So, Bit of indifferent news. Lejeune heads out. Two contract extensions. I'm buzzing with Isaac Aiden more. So everyone loves Isaac Aiden. How he's not an England squad and a championship player gets ahead of him. I've got only only Gareth Southgate can know why. But in terms of uh, the videos, we're doing something a little bit different tomorrow. In terms of um, the West Ham game, obviously not going to games is a little bit of kick in the teeth. So we want to try a couple of things out. We'll buy um, change a few of the videos up tomorrow. You'll see when they come out tomorrow night later on. Um, but yeah, in terms of um, Newcastle Fans TV, you've got the membership program, which is down there. You'll always see the join button. You'll get loads of exclusive videos. You'll get first look at videos. You get posts, exclusives, what we're up to, um, stats, graphics, all that kind of stuff in the membership. Join. What have you got to lose? Try it out. Got nothing to lose. But also, if you want to keep up to date with all the news, of course, we've got the socials. But if you want all the socials in one place... We've got the Flick app, which is the Newcastle United community, where we're pulling all the news. Join it, get involved, it's free. So you've got now to lose, join it. We're in there, we're updating, we're, we're talking to other people, fans. They're having their say in the forums and stuff. And that's called Flick. The link is in the description for that. Let us know what you think of Lejeune. Let us know what you think of Carl's thoughts on Hayden and Carl Darlow. Have a good weekend. Hopefully, when we're next season, Saturday night, we've got a win. Hello everyone.